In this video we are going to take a look at Top 7 Tips on How to Start Your Own Business If you are in the process or on the journey of starting your own business then make sure you subscribe to this channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get notified every time a new video is released. Without wasting time, let's get started. The first step for starting your own business is simply deciding. Number 1. What business to start? Now, I know this might seem incredibly obvious if you've already made the decision but there are a lot of people out there who want to start their own business but they can't move forward if they haven't made this decision yet. Personally I had a lot of ideas and I really had a hard time narrowing down what business I wanted to start so that was my biggest problem I tried to start a few businesses at once and that really didn't go down well. Building a business can be a full-time job. It's a big project even just doing one and if you try to build multiple businesses at the same time you are just kind of setting yourself up for failure. I'm not saying it's impossible but it's going to be a lot more difficult. So save yourself the hassle by choosing one business idea for you to work on at least for now. You can always pursue other businesses, other ideas later on. Number 2. Write a business plan. This this doesn't have to be a long page document describing absolutely everything about your business and everything you're going to do in the future. It doesn't need to be all that. This can be super short, super simple. You can make a business plan that is as short as one page. Doing this will give you a lot of clarity about exactly what you're trying to do. You've never built the business you're trying to build before and so you should have at least some sort of plan about where you're trying to go with your business. Number 3. Validate your idea. Now, this is a mistake so many new entrepreneurs make when they're trying to start a business. They have a business idea, they write a business plan and then they get to work on building their business. They're putting in all this time and energy and they don't even know yet for sure if people want what they are going to be selling and so they might be building a business that sells a product that people aren't really interested in. When you think about it, that's a pretty risky business. Make sure to validate your business idea by making market research, where you go out and you talk to people who you think might want your product and ask them if they'd be interested in it. Also, ask questions about their related desires and their related challenges. Number 4. Set up shop. If you're running an online business, what this means is, you're going to create your website. A website, it's not absolutely required but it's going to make the running and the building of your business a lot easier. So I really would recommend that you set up a website. This really doesn't have to be that complicated. You can completely create one from scratch with WordPress or you can use Squarespace or Wix that makes building a website really easy. Number 5. Set up your finances. Find a way to keep the money meant for your business completely separate from your personal money, and also to keep your business money organized. If you do this, you will be able to see where your money is going and coming from a lot more easily. Number 6. Build a sales funnel. That means you're going to take your product to the masses and start generating a lot more sales so in order to do this, you're going to need to figure out a good way to get traffic. This could be just ranking your website on Google or it could be making content like blog posts or YouTube videos or using social media marketing or using paid advertising. There are lots of different options to choose from but you must have some way to consistently get traffic and visibility so that people find out you exist and then you need a process that takes that visibility and turns it into sales. This is called, a sales funnel. Number 7. Consider outsourcing. You might consider outsourcing some small tasks in your business to freelancers who are working part-time. This will help to get some things off your plate so that you can use your time and energy to really build the business and do the aspects of building the business that only you can do. So that's it for this video, hope you guys found it extremely helpful. Make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.